there. And I think there's three things that uh, I've noticed in my first week of wearing the pump. The What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Like most videos on this channel today, we're going to be talking about type 1 diabetes, but with a little technology twist, we're going to be reviewing my brand new insulin pump, the Medtronic 770G. Okay, before we get started, something I want to tell all of you guys. If you haven't been following along with me for the past few years, I have been wearing the Medtronic 670G system for almost three years. So, I'm very familiar with the software, with auto mode, with the sensors, with the way that the system works. So if I start to move fast on a few things or if I like breeze through something that you wanna know more about, just go ahead and ask me in the comments and I'll get back to you or be able to point you in the right direction to some other videos or some other content that can help answer some of your questions. So I just want you guys to know that that is available. But ultimately, if you are familiar with the Medtronic 670G system, this is going to be a super easy update for you. And that has drawn some criticisms because these pumps are nearly identical in almost every way. But I'm gonna talk a little bit about the difference. But if you are familiar with the 670G system, you're gonna be able to get right on board super quick with this, which from a user perspective for me was really easy. And honestly, this onboarding was one of the easiest diabetes onboardings that I've ever done. Okay, let's do the actual unboxing. So like, here's the box. Like, look at this pretty cool packaging. It's like super slick. It's got the magnets here. And the pump is surrounded in all its glory right there. Like, let's just see, like, okay, there it is in all its glory. It's surrounded by blue light, pretty cool. Um, it's even like a little bit sexy, which is definitely not something you think about with diabetes packaging, but this feels like an Apple product. It feels like a Bose or a Sony product. It's just really nice upgraded packaging. All right, when you look at the physical pump, I've got the 670G here and the 770G right here. Um, it's almost identical in nearly every way. You can see it's got the same configuration, the same sort of casing and shape, same size and weight, same battery. Let's talk about some of the operational differences between the 670G and the 770G. So most of you will likely already know that the 770G still uses the Guardian 3 sensor, but it uses a different transmitter. Now this is the transmitter from the 670G. This one, as you can see in this video B-roll from when I, I'm actually wearing the new sensor and transmitter now, but you can see it says GL3 on it. So that is the new transmitter for the Medtronic 770G. So Rob, it uses the same sensors, it, it just looks a little bit different. It's the same exact form. What's actually different about the transmitter? And I think there's three things that uh, I've noticed in my first week of wearing the pump. The first is extremely responsive warmups. On the 770, I've only restarted the center, sensor one time, so I've used two sensors. But immediately, once I put connect new sensor on the menu, it started the warm up. So there was no delay, no wait time, super smooth and I've been really pleased with it just starts right away. So the next thing, and this is the biggest one for me besides the warm up, more consistent 12 hour calibration periods. So those of you who wear the Guardian sensor know that some of the criticisms of it is it doesn't always last the 12 hours before you have to recalibrate. And sometimes the sensor will not be sure of the blood sugar and it'll ask you for a calibration, it'll ask you for a blood sugar. All of these things can be kind of annoying uh, in the notifications. So. One thing I've noticed about this transmitter compared to the previous one is that you almost always get the full 12 hours, very consistent calibrations, uh, and I'm a big fan of it. So for me, I am not very consistent with my times. I wish I was. Uh, I applaud you if you're a very disciplined person who calibrates at the same time in the morning and at night or in the middle of the day or what have you. But if you are a person who does that, who's very regimented and diligent about their calibration times, you're going to love this transmitter. It's almost 12 hours on the dot every single time. So if that's something that you like and you're very a creature of habit, unlike me, I like to improvise. I kind of like to move uh, and flex frequently. My days are very different all, a lot of the time because that's what I like. So it's still inconsistent for me, but that's me, my personality. So if you calibrate at the same time every day, you're going to love this sensor. Okay, now for the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the first Medtronic pump with Bluetooth connectivity to the phone. So I'm gonna show you, I'm on the app right now. The new app is called Mini Men Mobile. 
You search for Miniman Mobile in the App Store and you'll, and you'll come up with it. Not only does it show you your blood sugar, just like on your pump, you can scroll through it, but you can also swipe and you get your 24 hour metrics. So just like if you were gonna go to your sensor glucose review on your pump, you can just take one swipe and look at the last 24 hours. So really cool. Um, really love that I have the option to do that. You guys do not know how much I missed sharing my screenshots of my blood sugar with you guys. That's something that I haven't been able to do for almost three years. And when you're like me and you like sharing blood sugars on the internet, uh, this is something that is super, super cool for me. So I can just screenshot it and boom, I can share my blood sugar with you guys on Instagram thanks to the MiniMed mobile app. So this is the biggest thing uh, that you'll notice from a difference perspective. Uh, the Bluetooth connectivity to the phone is excellent. There's also a CareLink app called CareLink Connect that allows you to share your blood glucose readings with a care partner, parent. This is super important because parents and care partners can access the blood sugars on their device as well. So my wife is currently following me for the first time. Uh, I turn all our notifications off, but if I like make a snide comment or if I'm in a bad mood, she can just check to see if it's my blood sugar versus me actually being in a bad mood. Okay, so you guys know I work with Medtronic. This video is sponsored by Medtronic, but I want you guys to know that I did order this pump and pay for this pump myself, and I did that through diabetes.shop, and that is Medtronic's diabetes website. They revamped it recently, and it's actually super cool. It's much more like a regular e-commerce website, so you just go add to cart and check out. So that's what I did for my pump for my 770. That's what I do for my supplies. That's how I pay my bills. It's very easy. It's just like any other site like Amazon. You add it to the cart, check out, and then for supplies within two days, I get a notification that the order has shipped and I have my supplies when I need them. So that's something that I've really liked recently is that it's much easier for me to order my supplies, seamless, I don't have to call, I don't have to talk to anyone. And even paying a bill, I can just do that online through my diabetes.shop account. So if you're still calling, to order your Medtronic supplies and calling the 24-hour helpline, I'd encourage you to try diabetes.shop because if you're like me, I don't like to talk to people on the phone. It makes me nervous. So uh, the fewer people I can talk to, the better. Okay, so this is the unboxing and the initial overview of my first week on the Medtronic 770G pump. But I'm gonna leave you with one piece of advice. If you order this pump, please do the training with a pump trainer from Medtronic. Go through the appropriate channels and schedule a pump training with Medtronic. When I got on 670, I did an in-person, remember, remember in-person meetings? Wow. I did an in-person pump training with a pump trainer here in Dallas, and he walked me through how to set the pump up, how the sensors worked, and it really helped me understand how the pump thinks. So if you've never used a Medtronic hybrid closed loop system before, I encourage you, please, Go take the extra step, take the extra time to get with a trainer. If you have the pump, but you haven't gotten a training yet, you need to call, pick up the phone, call Medtronic's 24 hour helpline at 800-646-4633. And schedule it today. I'm telling you, all the people who I've talked to who didn't get the training had a much more difficult time adjusting. This pump and this system, if you've never used a hybrid closed loop system before, is very different. It has its own language. And I'm telling you, the people who I've talked to who didn't do the training got really frustrated, got really fed up, and they didn't necessarily know what they were missing out on. When you learn how to use this technology, it works much better for you. So I'd encourage you to get the training. It helped me, and I'm here doing the tech review. So. Uh, if it helped me, it can definitely help you. Uh, if you, Again, if you've used the 670G and you like it and you're familiar with it, this onboarding will be super quick. You won't need to necessarily do the training. So if you, though you don't know how to use this, do the training. Call the number, here's the number again, call the number and book a training. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like and smash that subscribe button because we're gonna be doing a lot more tech reviews of the Medtronic 770G on this channel. So thanks to Medtronic for making this happen. And again, just keep track of me on Instagram at robhow 21 I'm gonna be sharing screenshots of my blood sugar liberally. So I'll see you guys there. Again, if you have any questions uh, for me about the pump or questions in general, put them in the comments. If you just wanna complain about the sensor, you can do that too. Just keep boosting this in the algorithm and make sure it's popular. Uh, I'll see you guys later and thanks again for tuning in.